Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 23 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to replace certain strings into null in CSV file using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see our requirement in details. So the requirement is quite similar to what we achieved in the previous video, where we tried to replace all the strings present in the CSV into null. Because if you see the uh, input columns, uh, all the columns expects integer type of value, but we have few uh, non-integer that is string type of values as well. Okay. But in this video, we don't want to replace all the strings present in the CSV into null. But here we just want to replace all the strings wherever the value is unknown in the input data set. We want to replace it with null in the output data set, as you can see here. And all the other values, all the other strings should be remaining as it is. Okay. So this is a very simple use case. We want to achieve it using mapping data flow. So let me go to Azure portal. And here, this is our input data set. As you can see, uh, I have uploaded this uh, CSV file in my ADLS container uh, named undo demo. And here uh, we have four columns, ID, marks, age, and salary. All these columns expects integer values, but in some of the fields, we have string values. ID has X, marks has ABC and age has unknown and salary has unknown and we have to replace only unknown values to null and all the other values all the other string values should remain the same okay so let me go to azure data factory uh, portal and here let me start creating my data flow so let me click on the new data flow option and here i have turned this data flow debug option as on so that we can preview the data during the creation of uh, data flow and here let me create source transformation and let me create a new data set pointing to the ADLS Gen 2. And let me hit on CSV format as our data is in CSV. And let me and now let me navigate to the file path. My file is in a new demo container named as replace unknown.csv. So as you can see, the first row is header. So let me mark this as uh, checked and let me import the schema as well. Now let me go to this uh, data preview tab and let me hit on refresh. So it's fetching the data from the source. Yeah, so the data is visible as you can see. So as we discussed in the whole data set, wherever there is unknown values, we want to replace it with null. So let me add a derived column transformation here. And here we have to specify uh, the new column or an existing column. But in our case, we don't want to uh, make changes to any one or two particular columns we want to check if in the whole data set wherever there is unknown value we want to apply this transformation to those uh, columns or those values okay so what we will do is we will add a column pattern here so that we can we can create a boolean expression which will be applicable on the whole uh, data set level okay so let me delete this unwanted column and here as we did in our previous video we will write a matching condition. So in our case, I'm going to write it on the basis of column type. So wherever the column type is equals to string type of data, we want to apply these functions or these expressions on top of those uh, matching conditions. Okay. So let me open this column name expression and value expression. So here we have to specify how we want the column name to be coming in the output data set. So in the column name, we don't want any changes. So I'm going to use this double dollar symbol, which will take the values from the source as it is, and it will display in the output. Okay. So uh, this will be applicable on the, on the whole data set for e each and every column, which is uh, satisfying this matching condition. Okay. So in our case, it is satisfying on, on all the column level because for all the columns the type is string okay so we are good now let me open this again so here this value expression will determine how we want the column values to be coming in the output data set okay so our requirement is we have to check wherever there is string called unknown we have to make some transformation that is we have to replace it with null okay so to check if the string is unknown or not, we will use this if condition. So let me use this 
and in this if condition we will provide the uh, condition and then true expression and false expression okay so first of all wherever the column value is equals to so i'll give double equals to wherever it is equals to unknown so let me write down unknown okay wherever this equals to unknown then we have to write true condition okay so what happens if we write two integer as we used in the previous video if we make use of this two integer and here if we supply double dollar values this expression would result in null let me copy this and let me cut this whole expression and write down in a notepad and let me take only this expression first and show you how it looks so let me hit on save and finish and let me preview the data yeah so as you can see it has replaced all the strings present in the whole data set level to null okay so basically two integer function checks if the supplied value is an integer then it will return the corresponding integer else it will return null okay so let me go back to expression builder again and now let me copy paste the expression that we had written let me copy paste it here and then here we have to provide if there is a string which is not equals to unknown then we have to get the same string in the output okay so let me use this double dollar symbol and let's see if this works and let me hit on save and finish so you can see it is throwing an error saying expression should return the same type integer as previous okay so what it means is since this function is responsible for converting the values into integer and this is actually getting the string value in the output so basically the true and false condition output should be in the same data type okay it this is returning an integer value and this is supposed to return a string value so because of data type mismatch it won't work here okay so what we can do is on top of this expression we can again use to string which will convert this whole value into string again okay so let me use this to string function here and let me hit on save and finish and let me refresh the data so let's wait for this data to be fetched yeah so you can see the data is visible so only those strings where we had the value as unknown has got replaced by null and the other string values are as it is okay now apart from this there is another function called null function okay so what this function does is it it will return a null value so we can make use of this function as well instead of using to integer function okay so let me make use of null function within this to string function so that it would convert the whole value into string because we have the false expression returning as string so to make the data type in sync we can make use of to string function on top of null function okay so let's wait for this data to be refreshed yeah so the data is visible you can see we were successfully able to achieve this requirement of replacing unknown values to null and the other values or the other strings are as it is okay so as we discussed we can achieve this with the help of either null function or to integer function but with the help of to string function we need to make this data type in sync okay for both true expression and false expression okay so that's it for this video guys uh, this was a very small use case but i came across this small scenario so i uh, thought of sharing it i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you